neutrophilia. Increase in neutrophil counts in the bloodstream is known as neutrophilia. As in the picture, there is many mature neutrophils present in the blood. Inside the medical laboratory, after performing CBC test, absolute number of neutrophil is evaluated. Absolute number represent number of neutrophil by thousand. Don't use neutrophil percentage in evaluation of neutrophil. Any increase in the absolute neutrophil count greater than reference range is termed neutrophilia or neutrophilic leukocytosis. Normal absolute count of neutrophil is from 2500 to 7500 per microliter. Any increase over this number is called neutrophilia or neutrophilic leukocytosis. Factors affecting neutrophil count in the bloodstream. There are three factors can increase or decrease neutrophils. The first one is the production and release of neutrophil from the bone marrow into the blood. If the production is increased in the bone marrow, neutrophilia will occur. The second factor is the distribution of neutrophil between central and marginal neutrophilic pool. Neutrophils are present in central neutrophilic pool and marginal neutrophilic pool. Any deviation in the distribution will change neutrophil count. If marginated neutrophils deviated to the central pool, neutrophilia will occur. The third factor is the rate of migration of neutrophil from blood to the tissue. If migration increased, it will decrease neutrophils in the bloodstream, which is called neutropenia. While if migration to tissue decreased, it will cause neutrophilia. Therefore, the three causes affect neutrophils count. Neutrophilia has many causes, but there are three main causes. The first cause is the excitement, then stress, then inflammation. Excitement is called epinephrine neutrophilia, stress is called corticosteroid neutrophilia, and the third is called inflammatory neutrophilia. The three causes will be discussed fully including causes and differentiation. The first type of neutrophilia is called excitement or epinephrine or physiologic neutrophilia. The laboratory finding includes mild mature neutrophilia with no left shift. As it is mild neutrophilia, therefore there is no need to release immature cells from the bone marrow. Also, there are lymphocytosis and erythrocytosis. Also, there is thrombocytosis while the remaining leukocyte as monocyte and basophil and xenophil are normal. Physiologic neutrophilia is a transient case, only occur for 20 to 30 minutes. Then cell count will return to normal value. Causes of physiologic neutrophilia include excitement, exercise, and parturition. The mechanism includes epinephrine release, which cause increase in the heart rate and also increase blood pressure and blood flow. This will cause mobilization of marginated neutrophils and become redistributed in central neutrophilic pool. Therefore, physiologic neutrophilia is called pseudoneutrophilia because increased neutrophils count is due to addition of marginal to central neutrophilic pool and the central neutrophilic pool is used to count the cell during CBC and the increase in cell count is not true as there is no increase in the production from the bone marrow it is only redistribution there is no increase in total neutrophilic pool which equal marginal neutrophilic pool plus central neutrophilic pool Lymphocytosis in physiologic neutrophilia occurred due to epinephrine prevents blood lymphocytes from re-entering lymphoid tissues. As you know that lymphocytes have its own circulation called lymphoid circulation. So that epinephrine prevents lymphocytes from entering lymphoid circulation and therefore their count increase in the bloodstream. Also epinephrine increase release of lymphocytes from the thoracic duct which transport lymphocyte to the bloodstream so that lymphocyte increase. The second type is stress neutrophilia. 
and it is called stress leukogram. Laboratory finding includes leukocytosis, neutrophilia without left shift, lymphopenia, monocytosis, and xenopenia. A stress leukogram occurs due to severe physical or emotional stress. Also in hyperadrenocortisis and in case of therapy or atrogenic, when treatment with corticosteroid lasts for long period. Mechanisms of corticosteroid leukogram changes. Neutrophilia occurred due to increased bone marrow release of neutrophils. Therefore, its number increase in the bloodstream. Also, corticosteroid decreases neutrophils margination by reducing membrane thickness. It decreases its thickness to the blood vessel wall, which is an important process for a migration of neutrophil from the blood to the tissue. Therefore, marginated neutrophils enter central neutrophilic pool so that neutrophils circulate in the bloodstream for a long time, from hours to days. Therefore, aging of neutrophils occur as it stays in the bloodstream for a long time. This causes senility of neutrophil, which is characterized by neutrophil hypersegmentation or increased number of loops of the nucleus above normal number of loops from 3 to 5. Therefore, the action of corticosteroid on neutrophil includes the first action is the increased release of neutrophil from the bone marrow. It increases mature cells only, no immature cells. Mature cells released from the storage pool in the bone marrow to the bloodstream. The second effect is shifting of marginal neutrophilic pool to the central neutrophilic pool. Therefore, it causes neutrophilia. The third effect is the preventing of migration of neutrophil from bloodstream to tissue. All these effects cause stress neutrophilia. Lymphopenia occurred in stress leukogram occurred due to Two causes. The first cause is the sequestration of lymphocyte in the lymphoid tissues and bone marrow, so that it will decrease in the bloodstream. The second cause is the lysis of lymphocyte due to long-term usage of corticosteroid. Therefore, it leads to lymphopenia. Also, in a stress leukogram, monocytosis occurs due to mobilization of marginated monocyte in the blood vessel because monocytes have marginal and central pool like neutrophils. Therefore, shifting monocyte from the marginal pool to the central pool increases monocyte count, which is called monocytosis. Also, stress causes xenopenia as it causes margination of xenophil in the bloodstream and make inhibition of its release from the bone marrow. These effects cause xenopenia. The third main type of neutrophilia is the inflammatory neutrophilia. It occurs due to inflammation, either localized or generalized inflammation. Inflammation occurs due to infectious agent, either primary or secondary, by bacterial, viral, or parasitic agent, which cause inflammation. The second cause is non-infectious inflammation, which occurs due to necrosis, hypersensitivity, immune-mediated diseases, or post-operative. Laboratory findings in inflammatory neutrophilia includes a neutrophilia with left shift due to increase in mature neutrophils, which increase in order. It means that band cell is more than metamyelocyte and metamyelocyte more than myelocyte, which indicated that bone marrow can control the release of cells in age-related order. Also, there is a lymphopenia and xenopenia due to stress of inflammation. Also, monocytosis occurred due to stress of inflammation. Also, there is a hyperfibrinogenemia, which means increase in serum fibrinogen due to inflammation. When the cause of inflammation is infectious agents, there will be a toxic changes in the neutrophil, such as cytoplasmic basophilia and vacuolation that gives neutrophil a foamy appearance. Also, 
there is a dual bodies and toxic granulation in few cases. Inflammatory neutrophilia occur due to inflammation in the tissue. Infectious agents and remnant of inflamed tissue increase cytokine secretion from T lymphocyte and macrophages, which are present by large number in the inflamed tissue. It will secrete cytokines such as granulocyte colon stimulating factor. Granulocyte colon stimulating factor then reach to the bone marrow and increase formation and release of neutrophils. And due to increased regeneration, bone marrow release mature and immature cells, which is called band cell, to the bloodstream. Therefore, in the bloodstream, there is a lift shift, which means presence of immature cells by large number in the bloodstream. Then neutrophils migrate to inflamed tissues to stop the infective agent present in the tissue. And the degree of inflammation determine the amount of granulocyte colony stimulating factor released, which is then affect bone marrow and cause neutrophilia with lift shift. There are some exceptions of neutrophilia with lift shift. It means that some types of inflammatory neutrophilia occurred without lift shift, such as mild inflammation may not be severe enough to cause lift shift because there is no need for immature cells as mature cells released from the storage pool is adequate to stop this kind of inflammation. The other case is long-standing inflammation. In this case, production of neutrophil is balanced with usage and lift shift does not occur. As bone marrow adapted for the demand of neutrophil so that lift shift is not okay. Other factor causing neutrophilia other than physiologic stress and inflammation are necrosis, intoxication, severe hemorrhage and hemolysis, and in leukemia involving neutrophils. Neutropenia. Neutropenia means decreased neutrophilic count in the bloodstream. It means that absolute neutrophilic count less than 2,500 cells per microliter is called neutropenia. Causes of neutropenia. There are three causes of neutropenia. The first one is the excessive tissue demand, sequestration of neutrophils, reduction of neutrophils production from bone marrow. The first cause is the excessive tissue demand for neutrophils. This occurred in acute inflammation in the tissues. Therefore, there is excessive migration of neutrophils from bloodstream to tissues to be able to stop inflammation. This takes a lot of neutrophils before bone marrow respond by increased formation and release of neutrophils. The second cause is the sequestration of neutrophils, as in anaphylactic chop or in bacterial endotoxemia. This neutropenia is called pseudoneutropenia due to release of histamine which shifts neutrophil from central neutrophilic pool to marginal neutrophilic pool so that decreases the count of neutrophils in the central neutrophilic pool and the neutropenia occurred. Also in bacterial endotoxemia, the same mechanism occurred by shifting central to marginal neutrophilic pool. This neutropenia is called pseudoneutropenia as neutrophils is only marginated but still in the blood vessel. The third cause is the reduced production of neutrophils. This occurs due to destruction or inactivation of bone marrow, as in radiation, cytotoxic drugs used in cancer treatment, in ablastic anemia, in certain viral diseases like leukemia virus, in toxemia, and in acute stages of many viral diseases. All these causes lead to destruction or inactivation to bone marrow. Therefore, neutropenia or decreased neutrophil count in the bloodstream occurred.